In today's top cryptocurrency news, January 14, 2023, in the first new, Alameda Research had a $65 billion secret line of credit with FTX, report. Sam Bankman Fried ordered Gary Wang, FTX's co-founder, to open the alleged credit line financed by the exchange's customers. In the second new, how to connect the Avalanche network to MetaMask. Avalanche users can enjoy Ethereum Web3 and DeFi applications by connecting the network to MetaMask. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to doing it. In the third new, New York sued by environmental group after approval of crypto mining facility, report. The approval violates the New York climate law of 2019, plaintiffs claim. The facility was acquired by the Canadian crypto mining firm Digihost. In the fourth new, Cointelegraph heads to Davos for World Economic Forum. Cointelegraph will be on the ground as prominent figures from the cryptocurrency and blockchain space converge on Davos during the World Economic Forum. In the fifth new, Gemini and Genesis legal troubles stand to shake up industry further. Now that the SEC has gotten involved in the ongoing Gemini Genesis spat, things could get ugly for both parties in the near term. In the sixth new, app-specific blockchains remain a promising solution for scalability. Building an interoperable network of blockchains dedicated to a specific purpose appears to be a viable alternative to layer 2 scalability solutions. In the seventh new, can Canada stay a crypto mining hub after Manitoba's moratorium? Local stakeholders believe that a crypto mining moratorium might actually mean the beginning of a new dialogue between the government and the industry. In the eighth new, Polygon tests zero-knowledge rollups, mainnet integration inbound. Polygon takes zero-knowledge rollups to the final testnet to gauge the performance of its ZKEVM ahead of eventual mainnet integration. In the ninth new, Bitcoin price blasts past $21,000 as three-day short liquidations near $300 million. Bitcoin knocks out a key moving average unchallenged since before its $69,000 all-time highs in a wild few days of straight BTC price gains. In the 10th new, Skybridge I stake buyback from FTX, as Galaxy CEO says he would like to punch SBF. Anthony Scaramucci also noted that there was clearly fraud in the SBF and FTX debacle, while Mike Novogratz said there's a side of him that would like to punch SBF in the face. In the 11th new, Logan Paul unveils $1.5 million crypto zoo recovery plan. As part of the plan, Logan Paul stated that he will commit 1,000 ETH to repay disgruntled investors that want to make an exit via burning their crypto zoo NFTs. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.